Hey guys, this is Left Turn. Today I'll be sharing with you how I paint loose macarons with current markers and heron flower brush. First, I apply a thin layer of pale pink and blend it with water. I use the water to paint the shape of the macaron. While it is still wet, I add color in the middle and bottom lines. Next, I apply using the same technique for the other macaron. This is the plum color. If you notice, the water spreads the paint to create the loose effect. If it spreads too much, you can always use a clean brush to push it down. Now, the bottom macaron is magenta color. Again, I use water to spread the paint and create the shape of the macaron. A tip for you, paint thinly but in many layers. Now that the other macarons are dried, it is time to add more details. At the overlapping areas, you need to make the line darker to indicate the shadow. Remember, center part of the macaron is the cream, so you can emphasize it by using a more solid color. Earthquake. To let it dry faster, I use the hairdryer to blow it. In this painting, I use Heron Watercolor Flower Brush Size 1. The flower brush is using squirrel hair so it is very soft for blending. Because of its unique shape, it has a sharp point that I can use to create details and fine lines. At the moment, this is one of my favorite brushes. I literally only need to use this one brush to paint the entire painting. The last few parts are all about adding many layers of details until they look like macarons. Understand that there are shadows in between each macaron. This part, you will need to make it darker.
Oops, earthquake again. Next, I am going to add the ribbon to complete the macarons painting. I used the plum color again for this one. Look at how fine the line can get with this flower brush. Paint out the shape of the ribbon and then I'm going to paint the bow. I start with a very thin layer of paint and slowly build it up. Take note of the lighting and make some areas darker to indicate the shadows. Underneath the ribbon, they should have some shadows as well, otherwise the ribbon will look flat. Now I add some white shimmers because I really like the glittery effect to create a shimmery ribbon. This is the Stardust Pearl Color from Colero Colors. It is handmade using Mika pigment and gum arabic. I hope you enjoy my tutorial and if you like it, please click like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much and see you again. Bye bye.